really a terrifying afternoon when the storm caused a light pole to snap and slam onto a moving car. This all happened near the queue. Our Homa Bash witnessed the drama as the family waited to be rescued. Homa, they told you they got very lucky. Yeah, they really did. That pole missing their 12 year old daughter's head by just inches. Luckily, everyone is doing just fine, but this isn't the first time this family has been hit by a freak of nature recently. We were just driving and. Evelyn Roth handled a near death experience the way only a 12 year old girl can. I was just on my phone again, and then I see this coming towards me, and I'm like, oh no. And I'm just like, nope, 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 nope. The family was making their way back home to Kalamazoo, Michigan after spending a few days in Cleveland when storms moved in and everything went wrong. It's very scary. A burst of wind so strong, it snapped this light pole right at the base. The Roth family driving in front of the queue, about to get on Interstate 90, when it came crashing through their back windshield. Part of the pole sheared through the seat where Evelyn's head had been resting just seconds before. Luckily, this girl's got the reflexes of a ninja. Dough forward, heat of the moment, just kind of, no. Not today, basically. I'm so thankful that she's okay. And instead of the Roths, you might want to call them the Miracle Family. Two weeks ago, they totaled another car when a black bear crashed into them up in Michigan. Photos show fur still stuck on the sides. We're running out of options. And both times, everyone made it out without a scratch. And it happened that a state trooper was apparently on his way home and he stopped and actually got traffic going around us right away before the Cleveland police were able to get here. So that was fortunate as well. So. Fate was on our side. It really was, and that family was trapped in their car for about an hour while uh, they turned off the electricity. Wires were just strewn all over their car. Meanwhile, the city trying to figure out exactly what happened with that light pole. Live in Cleveland, Homa Bash, News Channel 5.